Now, on the other hand, Clone and Silent Shadow, Clone, man, that's gonna be, this could take a while. <laughs> well, I don't know how Silent Shadow plays exactly. Clearly they've played very, I mean, okay, no, it's sort of how they play, because I saw them against Sprung. And those were some interesting games, but how they play against Clone, against that fortress that Clone is. <laughs> he likes his defenders too, yeah. Likes his defenders, not just likes the defenders, it's the fact that Clone doesn't take risks, or very rarely takes risks. He's very good at only attacking where the opponent's weak, and making sure to never, or very rarely, lose units. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's hard to, uh... Get... Ah, okay, you're at Group K. Are you at Group K? Yeah, it's Clone and Silent Chatter in a different room. Okay, Orphelius has just admitted that they are both Antip and Cubay. Next, they'll be saying they're Aspire Man. And then we will have the entire GB conspiracy together. And all the trolls. And the world will collapse. At which point I'm sure some Elder Evil will rise from the depths of the ocean and eat us all. I recommend basting yourself first. Just, you know, as an act of charity to your new Chthonian overlords. Just pour a bit of barbecue sauce. Just shower with barbecue sauce. The game is about to begin on Altier Crossing. We have Clone and Silent Shadow. And it is going to be probably a bit of a time-consuming one. Although, Altier Crossing, no, because it's Altier Crossing. It's not going to take more than five minutes. Now, the maps chosen afterwards, that's where it's going to be more of a... I don't want to say slog, but it is where Clone is likely to really show off their rather signature playstyle. Hey, what is Clone going for? I'm no, giving this Amphib. one to Clone. Amphib? Well, interesting. That's definitely a change. On the other hand, Silent he wants Shadow to do is... ducks and uh, give the first uh, scouts or raiders that come in. Mm hmm. What the heck? Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, ducks would be a really good opening. Just on this map, I'm surprised I actually don't see it more often given the power of ducks. The power of the opening duck is strong, but underestimated. Especially on pure land maps. Now, my Silent Shadow doesn't have a factory choice yet. They do have their metal extractor and all that set up, but no factory as of yet. Probably going to go for shield, though. No, it hasn't even determined. What? Okay, they have no factory on their queue. Very strange. They might... They might party in a factory. Okay, Amphib on both sides. Wow! Thinking the same thing, apparently. Clone going for the conch. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Getting the 7.5 metal reclaim. On the other hand, Silent Shadow is going for the duck. Does want to have that quick raiding going on. Ooh, that's going to be... Well, it's going to come down to micro, but I think... I think Clone has the stronger micro skills. But I might come to almost to who sees who first between the two ducks. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think of this yet. No, nope, no, Clone's got it. The thing is, there's going to be an extra duck for Clone compared to Silent Shadow. And Clone's just powering out the ducks. So really, Defenders yeah, Advantage that, that will probably one win out. Will, uh... Oh, but he's picking a, an odd rock to, uh, to reclaim. Usually he picked the closest ones first. <laughs> I think I think what happens, Clone doesn't want Silent Shadow to harass out that worker, or not to think, oh, the worker's gonna be near the base. I should just go near the base and hunt around. Instead, go for a distant rock that Silent Shadow is less likely to try to scout out for. Because Silent Shadow is not likely to have radar at this stage, or not radar that's gonna be able to be at a position that'll see it. Like Silent Shadow's radar can only see halfway across the map. Similarly with Clone, although Clone's is in a much better position, still. Clone having the advantage of units goes north. Silent Shadow hankering to cut through the center, but decides to go to the south instead. Ooh, no, not quite. Nope. Gonna go for the north. Seeing the units on the radar. Clone knows exactly what's going on and does not want to allow that to happen. Ducks coming in. Surprisingly, no archers, though. 
There is a scallop for clone. No archers or scallops for silent shadow. And a scallop. For he does have two metal off. extractors now. Yeah, clone does have their metal extractor set up. Actually, three metal extractors. Well, no, silent, silent shadow, shadow has five. Has the... Clone doesn't. The silent shadow has a much bigger income now. Yeah, although that was a very, very nice set of shots from Clone. Yeah, but still, that's just 300 metal uh, different difference in army. Yeah, nothing. Whoa, Ooh, what? Somebody's pausing. Silent Shadows pause in the game. Are they having lag issues or something? Is there Probably. I didn't see any. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Excuse me. Anyway. Silent Shadow is going to uh, go for more conches. And they are reclaiming. Their commander of the south is doing some reclaim. And actually, have a, they have an economic advantage at this point. But it's really... Military is still in Clone's favor. Silent Shadow still has to out-micro Clone or out-position Clone. Which is a tricky thing to Silent do. Silent Shadow has, a lot, has, has two constructs. Well, well, Clone has two as well. That's um... He morphed his commander, but the commander is moving away from where f things are happening. So usually if you invest in a morph, you want that morph to actually that, do something. That's a shotgun too. That would... that's... well, that's the second scallop. Well, a scallop at all, because only clone of this one has scallops. And even then it only has one. But yeah, this is going to be really a positioning game, and since neither player knows what the other one has... Actually, clone knows where Silent Shadow is. Silent Shadow knows where clone is. So yeah, both of them are actually pretty knowledgeable about the other's position and how to best take advantage of it, but whether they can kind of comes down mm. to who makes the mistake first. And not to disparage Silent Shadow, but they probably are... Okay. I don't think they have as much micro skill. I don't know if they there do. They are... Uh, they pruning it, though. No, Clone does. What? There are what? There's Silent Shadow no, taking over their side of the map. Something in the interface changed. I was just... Oh, okay. Boy, boy, boy. What, how, how do you pronounce that in English? Boy. Boy, okay. So now we're going to snipe an LT. Well, actually, that's British and Canadian English. Duck. In American English, it's boy. But in British and Canadian English, it's boy. Okay. So I call it boy because I'm Canadian. So now he loses the metal extractors for a while. Loses the commander too. Uh, oh, no, he, 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 will, uh, he will live. And I Clone will lose all his ducks. Oh, yeah. Wow, that is a huge shift. That is a massive Clone shift. Does Silent not Shadow move to the top left, by the way. No, but Silent Shadow is going to go for the counterattack. Or are they? No, he's not. No, they're they're continuing to try to defend against the ducks. They are not going for the counterattack, despite the fact that this is pretty much their window. Although they might be but thinking. Now we, now we can see a clone uh, doing the anti uh, twenty metal bump you mentioned, and why. Uh... Uh, Silent Shadow is not, but he has one of those uh, seven Silent half build power cons on his factory, so he's kind of fine. Yeah. Si Silent Shadow has themselves set up. They have the constructor. They have other constructors that are in their queue. They're Wait good. a second. J j just listen to this. Uh, a caretaker costs 250 metal. Mm -hmm. 220 metal. Yeah. A Buffed recently. A conch costs 180 and has seven half build power. The other has ten build power, so... Caretakers are more cost-effective. Uh, no, well, up to 20 metal for something with more hit points that doesn't explode and can move. I think in previous uh, oh, yeah, games, you are better off with uh, conscious. Well, at any rate, that's what Silent Shadow has. I mean, if nothing else is mobile. He has a lot of ducks now. Yeah, the entire can use all the boys to uh, skirmish the, the, the scallops in the center. Very clever there. I like how Silent Shadow is playing this out. Because that south side is completely I can't remember Silent nearly. Shadow being so knowledgeable. <laughs> oh, that sounds so bad. I've honestly never really seen Silent Shadow play. Other than the last game with Sprung, and they... I mean, they bodied Sprung. So, we'll see how they work here. Now you get why it's so hard uh, to fight Clone because of these turrets. Yeah, and... I mean, clones avoiding the fight with the boys as well, which they should. You now, it's definitely the right call. Because, I mean, that's how Clone works. They avoid fights they can't win. They know how to pick their battles. That That is Clone's biggest strength. It's just they didn't realize... I guess they got mixed up in the southwest corner. Just once in a while they make a mistake and that causes a loss of units, which is where you can get the advantage in. But you kind of have to rely on Clone making a mistake in order to get through. But now it's the, the biggest mistake everyone makes in 1v1 is 
trying to attack the factory way too soon. <laughs> he cannot move these units straight through the center. It's impossible to make something happen. Yeah, he that's has to sounds right. Really, if you, if you attack like this and you uh, meet resistance or uh, an equal sized army, you attack either this way or this way and go back. You can't go forward anymore. Yeah, it's... Well, the thing is... That's you where cannot Clone attack into a factory when you're far away from um, your own factory. Well, that's where Clone shines, is knowing basically never to attack, basically knowing exactly that and being very uh, good if you about notice, knowing if you, when to go in. It, it's okay to, to, to get an advantage versus Clone because he just makes too many turrets everywhere and you can... Yeah, uh, because get clone, the territory. Because clone knows exactly what you just said, and they always go for the periphery first. They always take out all the periphery, contain the other player into just their their opening base, their starting area, and then comes at them from all sides to kill them. But clone's having a hard time doing that because Silent Shadow was able to get the advantage from destroying the Duck Army, and at this point, it's evened out. They're dead. E they're at a dead heat for army value. Although at this point, Silent yeah. Shadow is pulling up a Grizzly while clone is just pulling up more and more ducks. If and he Grizzly's can finish it, Grizzly, one. wow. That's a risky uh, he might, strategy, He actually though. might uh, finish it. Yeah, it's going to take only 30 seconds. That's, that's not a bad has a timing. lot of reclaim from, from both those fights. Yeah, and the fact oh. the commander's still alive, reclaiming all their energy income. But he's just probably he's shooting turrets overall, with though. those ducks. It's very expensive. Yeah, it but doesn't kill time, anything any port. It is kind of containing clone to an extent. Yeah, that's what, I guess that's all, so. That's all Silent Shadow needs to do is buy time. Just needs to buy another 20 seconds. No, 6 seconds. Having on a bit of extra reclaim. Silent Shadow needs to buy a few more seconds. Get that Grizzly out. It won't win yeah, that's out. The finally, right, uh, there we go. To reclaim it. it won't win. I think it he did it. Right, that commander uh, of um, uh, Silent Shadow was reclaiming trees for a good portion of the time instead of the Rex in the lower left corner. Yeah, and instead of the Rock He didn't well, uh, right micro there. it. There is a widget, by the way, that can prioritize uh, metal reclaim over energy reclaim in area reclaim. Yeah, I don't think the area reclaim is actually across all that stuff. I think the area reclaim... Because it looks like Silent Shadow is doing right-click reclaim. Like not actually doing area reclaim, but reclaiming specific objects directly. Yeah, now Klon has a problem. <laughs> it's called the Grizzly. It's got a yeah. bear. Got to find now a way to punch that to, bear. Uh, send those constructors uh, after the Grizzly to reclaim. Wow. What are you going to do, Mr. Klon? Look at all those defenders in the top uh, center. <laughs> They're doing nothing. Uh, yeah. Come on, move it forward. Grizzly, it's a uh, precious time you're wasting. I think Klon is trying to prevent movement towards the top center. Every and try second to box. that Grizzly is not reloading, it's a second waste. Yeah, I think Wasted. Silent Shadow... Sorry, Klon I think is trying to box Silent Shadow in, into that center path, but oh, Silent Shadow is voluntarily taking it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's nothing they can really oh boy. do for that. Oh boy, 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 boy. Now let's see. We have four boys, all of which belong to Clune, and none of which are going to be all that useful on account of death. Oh boy. On the scallops, other hand, the scallops, scallops are—they are pulling their weight, and the ducks are able to get in after the scallops go down. And that grizzly is now moving to its death. Basically oh, getting surrounded by the default, ducks. Why did you retreat? Oh uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. He still has a lot of idle units in the back. And he has yeah. too many constructors on his factory. And those ducks could have saved that grizzly. Simply, yeah, definitely. as reinforcements would have saved the grizzly. I've noticed that especially one thing with... Well, I mean, it's like, multitasking is one of the skills. Another one of the skills that separates good players from great players. And it's come up right here. Clone actually switching over to Shieldbot Factory as well. Went for a fact switch during that fight. Now, Clone can't really roaches. attack Silent Shadow, but yeah, of course. Clone can't really attack Silent Shadow, though. And Roaches are exactly what it is. That's a very good call there. And Silent Shadow taking out those defenders. I mean, it didn't really box anything in. Clone's commander as well going to go down in about two seconds. Okay, more reload. like five. Although, unfortunately, the ducks are crowding. The, ah, yes, I there always it goes. see that. Like, it's easy enough with line move to simply retreat your units away as the last shot's being fired so they don't die. I don't know why people don't do that more often. I've got to remember that myself. There are five million other things to do on the map. <laughs> yeah, I know, but there are so many things. It's just when that comm kill happens, you know it's going to be a massive explosion. 
Same as fusion reactors and caretakers. Like, you know it's gonna be a massive explosion. Have as few units as possible die to it. But whatever. The defenders were removed, the commander was destroyed, Silent Shadow is still ahead economically, and does have the production to make that pay off. Yeah, he isn't out of it yet, that's true. And but nice once the reclaim the kicks in with the, all the metal uh, Silent Shadow left behind. Mm -hmm. And he does, yeah, he does have a couple of boys. Yeah, getting more boys, let's see, most of them... Yeah, the majority of them do belong to Silent Shadow, sorry, the clone, but... Three of them, sorry, four of them belong to Silent Shadow, five of them belong to Clone. Though one of Silent Shadows is under production, while Clones are not currently producing scallops. And those roaches, where are those roaches? There is a roach to the south, the choke point to the south, and a roach to the choke point, is the choke point in the center? No. Oh yes, actually, there is a roach, no, it's an outlaw. Got the same. Ah, yes, it's in the north of the choke point to the center. Coming around to block off the retreat route, and the boy not spotting that. Duck, Silent however, Shadow does was, sacrifice uh, itself to get rid of the, that roach. The roach okay. did not pay for itself. However, Thug Law is going to be paying for itself. Oh boy. Yeah, eating of the Grizzly's Metal, no kidding. That was a generous donation, and it, Okay, that roach worked out. I can't believe I missed that. That roach worked beautifully over in the south checkpoint. Or, uh, south choke point. Leaving not but three Not but one duck, thanks to the defender. And this is where Clone's gonna come in for the death blow. Just letting Silent Shadow kill themselves on Clone's defenses before Clone comes back and finishes. I think Silent yeah. Shadow might have one shot to get back in this, but this is... It's a long shot at that. I like the addition of thugs in combination with uh, boys. Yeah, that really does work out very well. It's a subtle it addition. It makes skirmishing uh, very powerful if you cannot take damage. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not to mention the thugs are pretty decent skirmishers in their own right. Nah, no, they're, they're... never mind. Well, okay, they're assault units in their own right, but they're... They work well with the boys anyway. Boys are a very short-range skirmisher for a skirmisher. Like, 450's okay, but not super great for a skirmisher. Kind of on the mid to low end. But all this time, uh... Silent Shadow had better or uh, equal economy. Well, he should really change up his uh, unit uh, composition again. He spent a lot on uh, resources, energy, for example. He has a fusion mm -hmm. even, and an uh, aircraft plant. And he has the build power Actually, to put down any type of turret. Uh, that aircraft plant could be the way out. They, Silent Shadow is ooh, going for a Thunderbird, Thunderbird, which is a good choice against shields. Thunderbird's definitely wise. But yeah, it's just, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that those units have been left alone. A lot of situations, especially with that Grizzly death, that was the most notable one, where duck reinforcements would have saved the day, and Silent Shadow was not paying attention to that. Which is unfortunate, because that was a big deal. Like, that was... That was oh, uh, let's see how his micro is. Oh, that's... Couldn't be... Couldn't, couldn't have been better. Well... We'll stop that attack. Oh, look at the roach. Ah, uh, I hate roaches for this. Their range is too big. Well, it worked in this case, getting rid of, my goodness, the ducks after the Thunderbird. So stop the major duck assault. Although, honestly, the ducks can still attack, and Orphelius throws in the towel. Even though they pretty much had the opportunity to destroy Lowry's entire, sorry, Clone's entire army. I don't know what was with mm -hmm. that. That's an odd choice, but I guess they just decided, to well, go to game two, pick a better map. Not sure if there would be a better map for them, though. This was actually working fairly well until they made a couple mistakes and died. Once that Grizzly died, that really did them in. But until then, they had the advantage. They had all the tempo. That was a huge jump in what they were able to do. Yeah, maybe a bit premature GG, you're right. So we're going on to game two. I'm not sure what it is that Silent Shadow wants to play. I think one, with the amount of metal income and build power Silent Shadow had, he could have done one of those HLT pushes himself. Now I come to think of it. Yeah. It's... He had all the build power he needed and he had a lot of metal income. Get uh, the aircraft to stop uh, those big balls of uh, of units. Yeah, it's just it's really been it was a matter of cooperating. It was a matter of actually getting the units that needed synergies with each other together.
to make those synergies work. That never really happened. Like, Silent Shadow had the units, but they weren't all in the right position, and position is everything in 0k. And that's just really where it fell down. And this also shows why I think uh, turrets should be bound to the energy grid. Yeah, you can see how can see defenders that. and lotuses were being built everywhere on the map. Although it didn't which really restricts movement and makes the game a bit it static at times. Restricts time. movement, but honestly, it didn't seem. I mean, in this particular game, it didn't do much. I, I agree with you in general, but in this particular game, the ducks were able to break through it with very few losses. No, so, they traded equal every time. I guess the defenders. Yeah. Is that defender nest in the north center. Huh. I didn't notice. It's kind of hard to tell. If you if you kill a duck, you you. Uh... Oh, you're right. Yeah, because I guess it's the same cost. Oh, good point. Yeah, I've. I can totally see that argument. I, I'd you're be just, interested uh, to see what happens. Putting uh, wreckages test. on your own, uh, on your side of the map. Oh, that's true. Around yes, because that is yeah. The reclaim just, makes it even more. Valuable. I spent fifty metal. You spent fifty metal, but. In the end, I will have to reclaim on my yeah. side. You spend 50, I spend and I only 50, have to and then I get 40 back. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I get 80 back because 40 of each. No, 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 it's 40. It is 40. Still. It's like, I spend 50, I get 40. It's you, 20 you lose cost. 50, yeah. It's just with a small delay. The only downside is, of course, that on the other side of the map, you won't have anything. <laughs> well, well, the one with the yeah. mobile unit does. That's that's true. That's that's the thing to consider. Mm, Silent Shadow wants to think. Think well, in the shadows, silently. That, that's the thing. I mean, that's part of what this game is about, is thinking. Thinking is definitely an important part of strategy games. Or at least typically considered to be so. I generally consider it to be so. So I can see why he would I see why they would want to think. However, oh yeah, because I want to figure out what the map is. Think about it. And a little break. Another little break. He just had a break. Yeah. He played one game. Are you drinking water, I guess? Oh, sorry. I forgot to turn off the mic. Oh. Yes, Anakin, exactly. The Grizzly. It was, And the duck reinforcements are right there, too. That was the most annoying part. It's like, it was right there. 2,000 metal worth of unit. And he was still uh, equal uh, in uh, army and income after he lost the Grizzly. And yeah, that's the thing. It was still ahead. It was just a matter of positioning, a matter of taking the wrong targets. Although the Grizzly probably could have killed the factory. Or the thing is, he should have uh, picked off those uh, scallops. With the Grizzly, yeah. Yeah, and not uh, charge in with the ducks yet. I think he could have won that fight. I think that was definitely a control issue more than anything. That, that was that seems to be Silent Shadow's issue. It's just it's it's minor mistakes with, with control and minor mistakes with placement of units, the positioning of the units and the composition. That seems to be where Silent Shadow is falling down. I think it was an overall good showing. Oh yeah, it was. I, I was, was quite impressed actually by the way he uh, handled this. Yeah, there he was. Switch, you, you started an investment in a big thing like an uh, like a Grizzly quite early, and he managed to uh, finish it. Which is usually uh, uh, a big risk, because you're very vulnerable to counterattacks when you're building up a 2,000 metal unit. But it didn't come. He recognized mm -hmm. Klon was making mostly turrets, and uh, he got to finish the Grizzly. Yeah, that was definitely very cleverly done. I mean, that's the thing with Klon's style, is that it does leave you opportunities to build massive things. With scallops, you really have to be careful for those. <clears throat> they have such a big damage output. They, as long as they can get to shoot, <laughs> you just die, including striders. Well, yeah. But at the same time, if you can defend them, if you can keep them alive, then that's a lot but of damage. They and die to one beam of those uh, grizzly. Yeah. Although interestingly, we're going to fields of ISIS. For those of you who play Screen Commander, this should be very familiar. And I'm oh, surprised I hate this <laughs> that I, I'm surprised Silent Shadow went for this. Like, this is Coffee Clone's break. <laughs> ideal map. Okay. This is basically Clone's ideal map. I mean, it's got metal everywhere. It's got defensible, easily defensible positions. Well, I have to say, it Silent has... Shadow had a good eco going when... That's true. He, he started to build fusions and all sorts of big ego stuff. But at the same time, this is super useful for defense. 
I mean, just think about how defensible this entire map is. There's all these there's like four choke points that matter. One of which you start in. There's basically just two major points of strategic interest. Setting up a defense is trivial, at least for about ten metal extractors. There's ten metal spots on the map where it just does not matter. And the remaining metal spots, yeah, it matters, but... At that point, you already have plus 20 metal. Well, but we have sh uh, spiders for uh, Clum. Yeah, that At makes sense. Going for the opens reclaim. Opens up a couple of routes. Gets a routes, lot of radar, gets routes. a lot of reclaim, gets gets past the choke points. By the way, no. And jump bots. It, it's, it's a big... Uh, it's not true. There's not a lot of reclaim on this map. There isn't? Those rocks look juicy, oh, yeah, but they're not. yeah, 20 each. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, it's only 500 Barely per cliff. Barely worth the effort. It's 500 per cliff. Yeah, that's almost it's like nothing. It's 300 on any one side. Well, if you're on one side, it's 300. It's still, it's something. It's not super great. I wouldn't go it's, out it's here nice crossing to pick on it. It's a couple of those, but still, uh, I usually don't uh, focus on them. Yeah, it looks like Clone, in fact, going so for air. Going for oh, air we've got instead. jumpers from hmm. Silent Shadow. He's really. Uh, yeah, puppies he coming wants in. To, he makes uh, the LT quite early. No, you cannot reclaim rocks with puppies. No, otherwise that'd be really broken. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be like this. Yeah, and I imagine it was really broken. Yes, it was. <laughs> it basically made all the reclaim maps unplayable with 0k. I am not surprised. Oh, we've got an air start for Clon. Yep. Oh boy, yeah, start, green start with loot. Ravens coming after. Although I think are these... Can you uh, snipe the shadow with puppies? The Oh, I, if you can if it's diving. But I don't think you can when it's just flying through the air. I think it's a bit too high for that. But then again, I think the puppies could possibly get into higher ground to be able to pull it off. On this map, no, because the... Actually, it's red, not purple. You know what? The puppies might be able to get on the hills. And again, the hills, that would actually do the trick. A little bit tricky, though. I don't know if that would actually happen. But yeah, if they get on the ridges... Then the bombers have a hard time. Now, first Raven has come up, and it is going over to the southwest side. And Silent Shadow does have a decent position to see this. Silent Shadow does not have radar, however. Clone does. Clone actually has radar on Silent Shadow's position. Yeah, he knows there's a constructor over there. Yes. Well, he Which can dodge the one bomb if he jumps. Yeah, the Freaker can. If yeah, Silent Shadow's paying attention. And Silent Shadow is... Are they paying attention? We shall see. The answer is no. No. No, they are not. They did not expect that at all, completely out of the blue, and Clone gets a nice con kill. North side still being taken by the commander, but the south side, that was... Yeah, that, that, that single rough. shadow just paid for itself mm -hmm. with one bombing round early in the game. And then a puppy throws itself away into a defender. The remaining puppies are kind of doing nothing. Like, half a dozen of them. None There's of them nothing to do anything. for them. That's true. With the, with the bombers in play, I guess like, all I can really do is try to intercept during this during his dive phase. I think it's uh, every time I can get Clon to bomb one of my puppies, I should be happy. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> because otherwise they'll be going for my constructors and metal extractors. And Although, at the same time, those puppies are basically being used for screening. Like They're just hanging out to figure out where things are coming in from. Has Silent Shadow still, not built? Silent Shadow still has not built radar. <laughs> it needs a Freaker auto-jump widget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that would be nice. It's a bit of anti-0k to have mechanics like that. A little bit. And the raven bumping harmlessly against the cliff face as it tries to fly. That was a little bit awkward. So it just sort of hits the cliff and... Oh, it's not going to do that here. Like Sonic the Shadow makes face. LTs in the back of his base. Which I'm not sure I can, if I... Uh, I can see defenders. I can't really see LTs. They barely hit. Defenders would make sense. And I just realized I don't actually have the sound on the proper thing. Look at the construction aircraft in the lower right. Silent Shadow didn't realize that aircraft was there. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the thing. That that crane's been there the entire game. Now it's just creeping in with defenses. Because why not? Because it can. He killed a raven, by the way, with puppies. Oh, yeah. And ate it, too. Now he lost his flamer. 
in the, in the right. Well, it got rid of the Lower crane. Left corner. I think, situationally speaking, that was worth it. Oh, he has two more of those pyros. He could shoot, attack the lower left while he still can. There. Yeah, they're, yeah they aren't being paid attention to. He can Shadow? just put down, a, he can just nano bait. It's yeah. a matter of Silent Shadow is focusing, uh, they're focusing all their attention on trying to get, they're trying to build up, they've, they're not sure where to go. I mean, they don't actually know where all of Krillin's stuff is. They're trying to mostly focus in the southwest, building defenses there. And the free corrupt the defender is up, but losing his missiles on the opposite defender. Got the freaker jump, but didn't get the timing right. Got it a no, bit too one late. Of the shadows went for the uh, defender, the other one for the constructor. Perfectly done. I mean, it was the freaker. It was a bit of a mistake. You never want to predict that. The problem is trying okay, to predict. Okay, he's it, uh, trying it to fails. intercept the shadows again. Let's see if it works. And it does. Okay, yes. so they, okay, so that's the thing. They will shoot, but they may miss. <laughs> that was quite funny to look at. It usually is. The physics interactions in this game are always quite amusing. Especially when Newtons are involved. And Clone finally going for that Spider Factory! Getting the ground switch yeah, Spider Factory they were originally going for. And both players kind of well set up. There's the southwest side is set up for Silent Shadow. Actually, the west side not so much because that southwest corner still has Defender and Lotus. And that radar, so Clone is exactly what's going on. Well, Clone, on the other hand, completely impervious to any knowledge. Silent Shadow has no idea what's going on in the back. Silent Shadow has no radar remaining. Clone only has radar in Silent Shadow's base. I'm not surprised, though. This map doesn't make radar easy to use. There are a couple of places you can put it in the center of the map, on the top of the bridges and such. But otherwise, it's really not that useful. You might lose this commander now with those three shadows. It's still useful, though. You should be really, really careful now. Yeah, those shadows. I think... They're going to yeah, go that's... for it. No, are they? They're just hanging out at this point. I think... Does there he want go. to make a fight there to scout? Oh, there he goes, yeah. And... I think he will uh, GG when he loses his commander. I think you're right. That That's a massive economic shift. I mean, they're currently about... There's one nothing. And... <laughs> yeah, he didn't two thirds, really you know I mean? invest in anything to uh, deal with the bumpers. After uh, the start of the game, which is surprising, only made puppies. playing jumpers. Why aren't they archangels? They're, They're very get expensive. Archangels. I don't know. I think you need They're what eight hundred. I think you can just bomb archangels. Okay, well then, archangel with puppy support. I don't know. <laughs> no, the shadows are just a bit broken. I think the entire concept of air and anti-air is broken. Is <laughs> you're okay, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> and now for. The controversial opinions on zero K segment. The unpopular zero K <laughs> opinions. With Flores. Exactly. <laughs> oh, it looks like the powers. Were they trying to get on top of the ridge there? Trying to get rid of the Yeah, they tried to. Not a bad idea. Oh, nice jump. Getting the free shots off. Does lose a few of the powers in the process. Oh, dodges. Just fast enough to dodge. But then, of course, they're the on fire. Coming. They're on fire. And there's nothing to repair them. Nope, they're just going to sort of fly through the air until they stop burning or drop to death. Or get repaired, I should say. Actually, I think one of them... Is it going to stop burning first? No, one of them is actually going to go down. Yeah, but the pyros on the ridge, uh, they can actually shoot at uh, the shadows. Yeah, two of the shadows just went down because of the fire. One of them one of them just because of pyros and the other one because of lingering fire damage. Of course, the venoms do counter pyros pretty effectively, so this isn't going to work too well. Oh, the one of the Venoms did get caught on fire. The other Venom, is it going to be able to deal anything? Okay, that Pyro's nah. going to die. That Pyro has no chance. It was a completely pointless attack. Well, I'll get rid of another Venom, but yeah, that's a lot of metal oh. that just basically There's nothing you can do over there. Lap. And then, of course, Venom coming in. Venom will die, but... Silent Shadow does not change units, or he sticks to the same queue for a long time. Yeah... Yes, puppies, puppy. Three to one puppy pyro ratio. A lot of puppies so far, but. In general, I think. Not the best choice. I'd up go until, with... let's say, on these types of maps, up until 10 minutes, you can just uh, queue up the unit you want every time your factory is almost done building one. You can play StarCraft like. Yeah. Although... Because it, it will really help you. And honestly, it is... To pick the right unit instead of relying on some sort of queue. Yeah, because in this case, 
moderator placeholder would be a better option. Like, with a bit of pyro support, or possibly puppy support. But with all these spider units, and you want skirmishers, they're spiders. They're all riots. Build the skirmishers and win. <laughs> and we see the first sneaky peat. I haven't seen that in a while. No, because the energy requirement is too low. Oh, it's being turned into an eraser, that's why. So yeah, this is the other thing about Cloak. There is one unit, the Sneaky Pete, which can turn into an eraser, the mobile version, which cloaks nearby units, and I think those nearby cloaked units remain cloaked even when firing. But I'm not totally sure about that. Me neither. I never make, make use of the Sneaky Pete. Yeah, the, the Sneaky Pete and Eraser is basically never used. The Aegis and Aspis is much more useful than this, although it's more the Aspis specifically. But there it is, there's the Eraser. We may see how it works. Puppy's going for a sneak attack. A good thing to do in general. Like having having puppies or ticks or roaches under the sneak, the eraser is a great way to but do will, a lot of damage. Everything will get stunned by one venom. Yeah, because it's being dot moved. It's being guarded. Shadow is, Silent Shadow isn't really microing or. No, this have puppies on guard command. And he, that's well, he relies it. on the two click attack moves, two click tricks. It doesn't work. Not against Quan. No, not when you're playing as a top level player. Like that's the thing with zero K is like it doesn't it doesn't require a whole lot of. He did get two shadows Ooh, there. Nice. Wow, that was well done. Yeah, it doesn't require a whole lot of or APM I to play at all. Shadow, but they're called Raven actually. Yeah, two Ravens. I mean, it doesn't require a huge amount of APM to play at all, but it does require. It does. It can demand a lot depending on how much your opponent is really making use of the position mechanics compared to you. And I think they were trying to kill off the Venoms and Redbacks though, not the Shadows so much. I mean, the Ravens. The Ravens were good kills, but I think when you consider what puppies can do versus what what Ravens can do and versus what the Venoms and Redbacks can do, I think they were the targets. Still, you have Pyros, which are cloaked. We might be able to see how this works when they fire. Might. And the answer is inconclusive. However, the Ravens, on the other hand, are going to be able to kill off this factory without too much issue. And down it basically goes. Last one, down it goes, factory, jump bot factory's down, and Pyro's decloaked by proximity, not by firing, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Pyro's gonna go for one last ditch effort, but after this is gonna be game three, because I can't really see any way of Silent Shadow getting back into this. Although they're not totally out, but still, it's just, I don't know. Clone's been getting progressively more and more at an advantage this entire game. Every moment of this game has been getting more and more advantageous for Clone. Silent Shadow has been throwing units away left and right, trying to do what they can, but really, jump bots on this map, I don't understand as a concept. Like, why would you play jump bots on fields of Isis and not tanks? Why would you play fields for Isis? Well, there's that, yes. Why Silent Shadow chose this map of all of them is beyond me. It really seems like the sort of map that would favor Clone just from the get go. As we can see, it totally does. Or at least, Clone knows exactly how to play it. So yeah, at this point, it's going to be Silent Shadows map choice... Uh, wait, no. We're not going to be moving on to Game 3. Why am I saying Game 3? Clone won Game 1. It's 2-0. Yes. Yeah, Clone would take a 2-0. And then it would be a Clone Ophelia's Finals, but before that it would be a Silent Shadow and Lowry Bronze match. And this should be game. Really, I'm not sure what Silent Shadow is expecting at this point. Start us in knockdown so the spiders can come in and tear them apart. We'll tear the rest of the base apart. Gunship switch has been made. Pretty quick one, too. Given the build power available, but even then... Uh, no, that wasn't... That was that? No, that wasn't surrendering. I thought I saw surrender. Nats coming in. Why people have been building Nats this tournament, I will not know. It's not been actually followed up with anything. I don't think people realize that Nats are really inaccurate. There we go. That's game. And Silent Shadow taken out 2-0. Will be put into the bronze match because that's what happens when you lose the semifinals. Not quite as tense as Lowry and Orphelius, I've got to say. Actually, the first game was pretty cool. That Altier crossing game, that was back and forth. I liked that. But Fields of Isis, I just don't understand the map choice. I really don't. I'm curious what Silent Shadow was thinking.
And Silent Shadow has just gone away. Oh. I really want to know. This is curious. So, bronze match is Silent Shadow and Lowry. That will be first. And then we'll move on to finals. And then that'll be it. And this is actually a fairly quickly run tournament so far. It's only been three and a half hours. Yay!